JCPS, Three Words a Day, Old Hong Kong Transport, by Mr. Brocky. Week 16, Wednesday, the 20th of May. Words about Old Hong Kong Transport. Today, we're going to look at how people traveled a long, long, long time ago. We will find out what was different back then and what is the same for us today. The first word is top deck. This is the floor where people stand on the transport. There can be a top deck and a bottom deck. The top is above, the bottom is below. The Star Ferry began in 1888. It took passengers from Peders Wharf to Tim Sa Cho. The ferries all have the word star in the name. The first four ferries were called the Morning Star, Evening Star, Rising Star, and Guiding Star. The second generation of ferries had two decks. The top deck was for the first class passengers and had terrific views of the harbour. Listen and repeat. Top deck. Top deck. The next word is capacity. This is the maximum that can be contained. So you, you can think of how many people can be in the transport. The first generation of tram cars, also known as Ding Ding, were all single deck. The average capacity of a tram is 115 people per car. It became a very popular mode of transport, and in 1912, the second generation of tram cars became double deck tram cars. Listen and repeat. Capacity. Capacity. The last word is generation. 
this is the production or creation of something. So you can have one generation and then you can have the next generation. That is the next thing you make. In 1888, the peak tram began transporting passengers from Admiralty to Victoria Peak. The tram cars have always been single deck and they are pulled up the mountain on a cable that is powered by an electric generator. The earlier tram cars had a capacity of 50 people. There have been five generations or five different types of tram cars. The newest generation has a capacity of 120 people. Listen and repeat. Generation. Generation. Today, we talked about transport in old Hong Kong. The next time you travel by ferry, tram, or the peak tram, think about these questions. Do the ferries still have a top deck today? What is the capacity of a tram or ding ding? How many generations of peak trams have there been? Alright, thank you and goodbye.